and I've been tracking digital transformation for a long time now. And I had done some research prior to COVID and I wanted to see if there really was any ROI from this customer technology stuff. Does it matter if we use technology or can we just use what we've always done in the past? So I took seven companies that had been through digital transformations and I looked at their stock price. And what I found was shocking. It was shocking because the companies that had been through digital transformations that lasted three to seven years had huge stock price gains. Microsoft, post-COVID, 500% stock price growth. Walmart, huge transformation in allowing customers to shop e-commerce. Target, a retailer in the States, invested heavily in technology for their supply chain logistics, buy online, pick up in store or curbside. This was pre-COVID, did very well during COVID. A large big box retailer where you would go to buy if you're doing work on your home, stuff to help fix up your home. Home Depot did incredible. A technology company, Best Buy, sold products that people now needed because of COVID. I'm sure you even, your kids are now doing school at home. You need laptops. Customers now could do that in a very seamless way with Best Buy. And so all of these companies had huge stock price growth. The only company that had been through a digital transformation, which by the way means solving traditional problems with technology, the only company that did not do great was Hasbro, a toy company, because they invested too much in their in-store inventory. However, recently they've bounced back. People are out shopping again. They're doing a little better. The companies that had already been in a position to serve a contactless customer did very well during COVID. Technology isn't everything, but increasingly it is shaping and driving consumers' most beloved customer experiences. And we know that from our own lives. How many of you watching this webinar today have a Tesla or some kind of electric car? We finally got a Tesla in my house and the difference is palpable in the driving experience of the Tesla. Here's a company built on technology, a car company, where it's almost like the transformation of the world in the industrial revolution, which in the past we worked with our hands post-industrial revolution. We're moving toward a more knowledge worker society working with our heads. The same with the Tesla car run on a computer, run through the cloud, the tablet and user interface, everything is controlled on this tablet, which is very unique for a car. Generally with the car, you've got knobs and levers and gadgets and the Tesla, everything is on this seamless screen. Not only that, the car, you don't need to use the brake. There's many quirks about the car that an engineer would only know if they built the car themselves and they sat in the driver's seat and said, what are all the things that people hate about driving and how am I going to fix that? And I'm talking about Elon Musk, the customer focused leader who sits in the middle of his engineering team in the Tesla factory. He is obsessed with the Tesla user experience. He's very receptive to feedback. You can send him a note on Twitter. And that's how he gets ideas for how to improve the Tesla. He's constantly got his ear to the ground of Tesla customers to get involved. And the thing about the Tesla, he can talk to us directly when there are environmental issues in California where I live and we need to conserve energy. They'll ask you, please, they'll send me a note through the screen. Please don't charge your car between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. tonight to conserve California's electric gr grid. Not only is the car so innovative, built on technology, coupled with customer experience, but they are patenting a new technology where you get in the car and with the camera that's built into the car, the car knows that I'm driving, Blake is driving. Here are all of her settings, her music, her preferred way of driving, where the seat goes, but much more than that, and the car is personally moving and shifting around me, that individual, it knows me, it's anticipating my needs, where I'm going, who I'm calling. That is what makes Tesla extremely customer focused. Mm -hmm.